Hello, welcome to Dining with Diabetes, a grocery store tour with emphasis on healthy eating for those with diabetes. This series is divided into three segments, each supplementing the Dining with Diabetes program. The topics focus on one, carbohydrates, two, low fat and low sodium options, and three, vitamins, minerals, and fiber. We're going to put some miles on our shopping cart as we take to the aisles to give you some good choices for your grocery list. During our tour, we want to stress perimeter shopping because the perimeter of the grocery is filled with the healthiest and freshest food. Avoiding the center aisles will save you calories and just may save you some money. We're also going to acquaint you with the plate method, a good model to follow at mealtime. It helps diabetics visualize what they should be eating without counting calories. Using the plate method, half the plate should be filled with non-starchy vegetables like broccoli and carrots. A quarter of the plate should be filled with protein, such as lean meat, fish, or poultry. The remaining quarter of the plate is designated for starches, such as potatoes, peas, or pasta. Fruit and dairy are on the side. The best part about the plate method is that it's healthy for everyone. So, let's get shopping. The simplest way to understand carbohydrates is to tell you that our bodies break them down to make glucose, a sugar that gives us energy. Carbs raise blood glucose more than any other food item because they turn quickly to sugar. You'll have no trouble finding the fresh fruit and veggies, which are good sources of carbohydrates, taking over a large corner on the grocery's perimeter. Depending on the season, fresh vegetables can be the best choice for your wallet. Of course, vegetables can be found in other forms too, and they're also good choices in canned or frozen versions. If you're using the plate method, it's suggested that vegetables take over half that dinner plate. Same with your cart. Most vegetables are low in carbohydrates, although starchy vegetables, such as peas and corn, contain carbohydrates, which should be accounted for in meal planning. Speaking of higher carb content, fruits are rich sources of carbohydrates. Whether you buy fresh, canned, frozen, or dried, you should have two cups of fruit a day. If you go for the canned variety, check for a label that says no sugar or packed in its own juices. Now let's move our cart to check out lean meats and protein items. The meats you see around the perimeter are generally low in carbohydrates. Keep an eye out when you're leaving the perimeter. This fried chicken in the frozen aisle has 12 grams of carbohydrate and less than one gram of fiber. If you grilled a chicken breast with some herbs and spices, you'd have zero carbs. According to the plate method, about one quarter of the plate should be represented by meat, and that includes poultry. On to the dairy section. Dairy products are the only animal-derived foods with lots of carbohydrates, with the exception of cheese. And if you like yogurt, keep an eye out. Some yogurts can contain a lot of sugar. For example, look at this label. It shows one serving is 33 grams of carbohydrate. One of the leading ingredients on the label is sugar. However, this yogurt shows 12 grams of carbohydrate. Dairy products show up as a side item in our plate method. Our shopping cart continues around the grocery perimeter to breads. It's best to choose whole grain products. The carbohydrate mountain breads can range greatly from one serving at 24 grams of carbohydrates down to 8 grams in a single serving. Good reason to check the serving sizes of bread. Some indicate large serving sizes compared to others. One fourth of our plate should be taken up by starches, which include grains, according to the plate method. Let's end our search for carbohydrates by veering off the perimeter to the center aisles for low sugar products. Beware, these items can be costly and not that healthy. Just because a product is sugar-free doesn't mean it is calorie-free. So make it a habit to read labels. We've filled your plate with a lot of information. Information that can help you if you are dining with diabetes. Remember that a lot of the healthiest items you can find are available around the perimeter of the store. So make perimeter shopping a habit. Use the plate method not only at meal time, but also at shopping time. Read the nutrition labels and be a smart shopper. And now, go shopping. <laughs>